What's up guys, today I want to show you how to create this gunshot animation using Adobe Premiere Pro. So before we jump into that, I just want to say wow, we almost had 2,000 subscribers. To see it growing and coming together, in a way I feel like YouTube is the perfect place for me and just because I have so many ideas, I feel like it'll help me get all of these ideas out and it's a lot, like I can go for months at a time just dropping stuff. So with each video, I want to continue to try and step it up, try to show you something new. So once again, thank you, let's jump into this video. All right, so in Adobe Premiere Pro, this is my shot I want to use to create this effect. And I want to look for a spot in this clip that, you know, I think is cool to I'll just start this. So let's check this out. All right, so for this effect, we're clearly using the gun part of it. So let's see which one of these frames is the most clearest. I think right there will do. So do that again. All right, so here you see we have our screenshot. So let's try this on the timeline right at that part. Just so we know where to start. And great, so let's watch this again. Ah, nice. And you can see already, even if you just wanted to leave that there, like it already creates like a little effect. All right, so that's, that's pretty cool. Let's add, let's add more to this. So what we want to do here is I want to do a zoom so let's let's cut them out and play with this a little more so we copy this we go over to effects controls we go to opacity and then we start this process so i'm going to cut this out real quick All right, so once again, just for the video's sake, you know, I just do a quick crop in. I mean, it's pretty clean, but it could be better. So let's pull this back to the front. I want the background layer to go dark. I want to leave the other copy of it to, you know, be highlighted. So let's do that real quick. So let's say from 100% to 50% is good. And then we're gonna, we're gonna leave this. So let's see. Let's speed this up a little bit more right there let me adjust my crop you know it could always be a little a little tighter so let's fix that and that's perfect so let's play this and check this out Kind of similar to the first video we did, but I want to do a little bit more just to show you how creative you can get with this. So that's done. Let's go and add some flares to this. So here I got some muzzle flashes that you can probably just Google and find. That's what I did. And now I'm gonna go to screen for the blend mode, just so the black disappears and scale it down a bit. I want to remove that. I know what to do. Um, let me take this in Photoshop real quick. So what I did was I took this over to Photoshop just to remove the black. It made it a bit easier and cleaner when I switched the blend mode over to screen in Adobe Premiere. So now I just want to line this up with the gun. All right, so that's fine with me. So now I want to cut this, cut this up so I can create that, you know, like the gun went, went off that effect. So skip every two frames and see. see what this looks like ah oh, that's that's perfect shit <laughs> i was just guessing with that's perfect so let's play this again and check this out oh that's perfect and it even matches the the music so that's a plus so now i'm gonna take this a step further so i just want these two Yeah, so I want, I just want like these two. Perfect. So now we're gonna take this a step further. And like I mentioned before, you really only limited your mind. So if you stop that and that's on you. For me, I think we could do a little bit more. So I'm gonna add some gun effects to do this. So let me find um, a good spot in this. 
so now that we have that spot all we have to do is um just copy and paste a gunshot to every flash you see so let's watch that over and see that's crazy what i wanted to do too with this you know like i say it's, it's really up to you how far you go but i want to play with the um the opacity so i'm going to play with the opacity just to make it more realistic but let's add a little metry and every time the flash goes off we're gonna increase the exposure so let's start say about perfect crazy so so there you have it guys a quick little video to help you you know play around with screenshot animations there's a bunch of different things you can do with it it's really up to you a lot of people can't think for themselves so i understand why it's difficult but once you have ideas you'll be able to do anything with these programs so if this video is able to help you be sure to like and subscribe for more and i'm out